Uh, hello everybody and welcome to another Opticus Radicus tutorial, part 3 of our Pirate Lego tutorial series. Uh, today we'll be learning how to rig up this pirate. Um, there's a lot of ways to rig something. This is a simple, simple rig. We'll be going through a little bit of weight painting, um, simple armature, a little bit of Immer immersed kinematics, and that's about it. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to turn on my screencast, save. Screencast start, it might crash, might not. Shift S, cursor selected, and Z mode, Shift A, add single bone, rotate it on the X, a negative 90 degrees, tab into edit mode, grab along the Y axis like that. Uh, go back to our one view, make sure I got this little guy selected, extrude uh, Z, select it again, extrude along the Z axis. I don't know why it's not showing that, but I'm, I'm hitting... Here, let's try this again. Screwed. Z. There we go. Showing it. Alright. Right there. Now I'm going to give him a uh, head bone. We are going to go right here. I'm going to put my cursor right here. I'm going to do Shift A. I'm going to add in this bone um, in armature mode, which is like edit mode for armatures, I guess. Or in edit mode or the armature mode. Sorry. Um, whenever you hit shift A because there's nothing else to add, it just adds a bone. So I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees and you got to make sure that you're in the front ortho. It says front ortho right there. And I'm going to grab this along the z-axis right here. I'm going to screw this down to the bottom and this could all be lined up a lot better. I'm going to rotate it. didn't seem like it was 180 degrees. Whatever. Close enough. Um, I'm going to grab this guy right here and hit W subdivide. And that makes, that's dead even right there. Um, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to hit Shift A. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm going to grab on Z. This is going to be our shoulder bone. I'm going to take that to about right there. And I'm going to screw this out like that on the X axis. And I'm going to grab this and hit W and subdivide. I think this is our arm bones right there. Um, you should name all this stuff. So, shoulder shoulder dot uh, right um, arm dot right sorry my bad that's dot L make sure you make it capitalize at the end hit enter to finish it off it's really important uh, dot L and forearm dot L it's flipped that's why Okay, so got this named uh, Dome Chest uh, Torso. And then uh, Upper Dot L. Sorry, Upper, uh, so we know what that is. Upper uh, Leg Dot L. Uh, mid leg dot L and we'll call this foot dot L. Alright, so we got all that right there. So I'm going to shift D. I'm going to grab this on the X. I'm going to go to armature right here and I'm going to go up to uh, flip names. So now that's all set right there. So that's cool. Uh, this right here, I'm going to select this. I'm going to go control M and I'm going to hit the X button and I'm going to hit enter to finish that off. I'm going to grab it. Oh, whoops, my bad. First, let's do this. Right there, Control P, keep offset. Parent that first. Then, Shift D, escape. Control M, X, enter. And then you grab it on the X. Bring it to this, about the same spot. So that line's right on. This line right here kind of lines up with that right there. So we'll just make it exact ish. Same thing on this one. Not too bad. Okay. And same thing right here. You know what? Here. Delete this. I like to do it like this. Control B, keep offset. Now I'm going to shift D, grab X. Uh, flip names. Okay. Same thing over here. Flip names. So, cool. 
not too bad at all. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to hit Shift S, cursor to selected. Shift A. I'm going to add another bone right there. I am going to, right now, I'm going to go to this little guy up here and go to B bone. And I'm going to scale this guy down. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to grab it on any other axis but the Z axis right now because I want it to be directly um, underneath and centered on that bone right there. And now I'm going to hit Control Option S to scale it out. Go to my one view. Option S, just a little bit bigger than the foot right there. And scale uh, Y. And then I just did Control Option S and I scaled it along the Y to get myself my nice foot bone right there. And same thing over here, Shift S, cursor selected, Shift A, grab that bone right there, scale it on the Z, grab it down on the Z right here. So it's right at the bottom of that. Uh, control Alt S, bring it out a little bit wider, Control S, and then along the Y axis. And Control S, Y, just a little bit more. Okay. A, Command S, save. Shift command. I'm hitting the plus sign on my uh, near my numpad, and that just abbreviates that to number one right there. Okay. So, and real quick, I'm gonna go to X-ray so I can see it at all times. All right. Now, uh, first things first. I am going to parent this to this like this. I think. Let me see. Yeah. So. Grab this and parent it. Control P, keep offset. Alright, um, now we're in object mode. I'm going to hit Control and Tab to go into pose mode. Let's, let me see if this is working real quick. Not at all. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so not 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 here to here, here to here like this. Control P, keep offset. Control P, keep offset. Okay, now when I go into edit to pose mode, it should take that like that. That's what we want. Uh, now I'm gonna select this guy here. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna select this and this. I'm gonna hit Control Shift C, inverse kinematics. It's going all freaky. Go over here, turn your chain length to one. Thing right here, select the foot. So basically, in in inverse kinematics, the thing you want to turn yellow, which you want to to follow this, uh, you select last. And that took a long time for me to figure out. It's kind of confusing for me, but uh, I got it now. That's my advice to you guys. All right. And so now, when I grab this, it should bend that like that, like there. That's not too bad. And let's see. If I grab this right now, it'll just bend that right there. But what we want is to go right here and just hit Auto IK, and you'll see that the rig is working pretty good. Now, uh, first thing I want to do real quick, this is my bad, go in here, select this bone, hit Control P, keep offset, this bone, this bone, Control P, keep offset. And that way when we grab this bone, it grabs the whole entire armature, except for the feet, which is what you want. Give you that nice uh, cartoony stretch. Alright. Let's uh, select everything, hit Alt R, Alt G to reset the rotation and reset the scale uh, location. Um, get rid of these bars right here. Alright, so I'm going to control tab out of uh, pose mode into object mode. Now I'm going to go into wireframe mode. I'm going to select this, then the armature, control P, automatic weights. This, then the armature, control P, automatic weights. Armature, control P. So on and so far, just repeat that until you are done and don't forget the hands uh, you do this right you'll see these lines right here this is your nice armature and parenting lines and you see everything's all nice and uniform and sexy like all right now I'm gonna tab control tab into armature mode pose mode I'm sorry I'm gonna grab this and voila we are uh, on the on the top section not too bad rigged up pretty good uh, I'm gonna hit Alt or Option Z to go into um, texture mode down here. Or you can just click and go to texture mode. And I'm just going to give the head a rotate. Head's moving that beard part a little bit, but it's working with the animation. Not too bad. Um, you can adjust this for however squishy you want it, but I, I kind of like it like that. That's working. It gives it gives the uh, 
gives the mesh a lot of character when it when it moves like that. And you want to exaggerate movements and, and uh, shapes when you animate, especially with simple characters like this. Okay, now the feet are a different story. We have to do a little bit of weight painting. Right here. Oh. Okay, so with the uh, in pose mode with armature selected, I'm going to hit shift and select the mesh right there and hit control tab to go into weight paint mode. And if you select this bone in Z mode, you'll see the influence it has on, on, on the area. And it's, uh, you have to do it individually because this is a uh, they're all different. I mean, it's it's not too bad. It, it's really about a personal preference what you want to do to this. Let's see. So let me see. Grab this right here. I don't know. Depends on what you want to do. Depends on what you want to do with that. Um. So, you're pretty much done. Any further you go is about uh, it's about preference. So, I'm going to go right here, and I'm just going to go to, um, so 1 and 9, I can go to your toolbar up here, hit T for toolbar, and this is your uh, your weight painting mode, and you can select your uh, your different brushes right here, but for quick, not on the numpad, but up on the, uh, where you usually select your layers, 1 is add, and 9 is uh, subtract, and this is how you set your strength. I have it set on full. And if you hit the F key, you can scale your brush size right here, or you can just go to radius right here and do the same thing. Um, I'm on subtract right now, and I, and, uh, I also hit Z to go into um, the uh, weight paintings wireframe mode. So let me select this right here. I'm gonna give uh, let's see, I'm gonna give this a little more influence. For my one view. I'm gonna go to A one for add. I'm going to save before I do this and then save, append another one so if I don't like this I can go back. And this is just weight painting unfortunately and it is time consuming but rewarding. So let's see what we got here. So yeah that's that's giving the knee a little bit more the bend that I want right there when I gave this more influence over that which is what I want and then I want to kind of loosen the influence of this one right here. So we get more bend. Oh, no, I didn't like that. Let me add some more influence. Give this a little influence on this right here. Okay. And give this a wiggle. So that is not cool. Let's keep this bone's influence away from here. Use a little less influence back here. Going on Z mode, so I don't get the stuff back there. So, what I like to do when it's too close together, I kind of want to get some fine adjustment there. First of all, first of all I'll take down the strength. Go nine to subtract. So this one is actually pulling that bone up there, which we don't want that to happen at all. We don't want this, this to have any influence over this bone's uh, domain. So let's see what we've got here now. I want it nice and stretchy, so... And if you want to see how kind of how you're looking, let me give this a little rotation to the outside. So that's not bad at all. Give that a little render. That's cool. It gives us a nice look. So uh, control tab to go out of... Uh, out of weight paint mode, Z, to out of wireframe mode, and this guy right here, I'm going to go smooth shading, is smooth shading already on, Let's see, smooth shading, yeah, so this guy right here, um, could be a smoother looking mesh, totally, let's try adding a subdivision, subdivision surface modifier, and first let's do this, to do that correctly, what we'll do is go Command L, uh, P, selection. Now I'm gonna select this guy right here, and I'm gonna apply the subdivision because we should have done this first. And those edges are sharp, so that's not helping at all to get rid of those edges that I'm not liking. Let me try a bevel. Bevel. Nope. 
I guess you could go in CZ mode C whoops I mean this is something that uh, should have been done in the, in the modeling process but I'm just going sorry this has nothing to do with our armature is good I just want this to be a smoother edge a rounder edge uh, same thing over here let's see this is I'm not gonna make this permanent I just want to see how it looks no it doesn't do snot okay say love you it's alright uh, I don't like that sharp edge but it's okay that can be changed in the model so here you go man that is a uh, basics of uh, rigging up a mesh and then if I mean if you don't know how to animate it already uh, I'll make them wave for you so I'm just gonna turn this on right here I'm select everybody I'm just gonna move it move it a second and rotate it um, now I'm just gonna go up right here and I'm gonna move this like this I'm gonna sh shift up to go up 10 frames I'm gonna grab it like this and there and then shift up that um, right here I'm going to insert rotation and go command Z mode go right here and rotate the Z um, grab this down here and so this just makes it record every, every all the keyframes so up here right there and I twist that up. oh so if it's twisting too fast move to a different angle for one and uh, holding on the shift key when you uh, when you do a rotation, so rotate and then hold down shift, and it'll make it move slow. So let's see what we got. That's horrible, <laughs> but it shows the movement. He jumps up, jumps down. You see, he is fully rigged. So. Not the best animation, just quick to show an example that our rig is working well. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna heck, I'll just hide this and we'll just play this. Let's see, out hide. Um, that twist is not working for us in the end there. So there you go. That's the basics of rigging. Alright guys, happy blending and uh, I hope this helped.